today's news, Kim Soo Hyun addresses rumors of new drama and enlistment. If you're one of those people that's into Korean dramas, you know of Kim Soo Hyun. I worry that Kim Soo Hyun has gotten so big at this point that he is gonna have trouble picking the perfect project. Because his last drama was Producers, which you and I watch and you and I enjoy, but not everybody, at least in the international audience, appreciated. Yeah. And so that's going to affect how he chooses his next drama project. And right now he's not even considering any drama projects or his entertainment company isn't considering them because he's working on a movie and when that movie's done shooting, which it hasn't been finished yet, then they will open up to more ideas and pitches because they're getting so many offers right now and they don't even know how to deal with them. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? What sort of drama should he do next? He should definitely do an action romantic comedy. It would be very different from everything that he's done in the past. Something and I, like City Hunter? Something more like City Hunter or Healer. Even You Who Came From The Stars had a lot of action scenes and he pulled it off really well. Like he's got this kind of James Bond-esque for younger audience look to him. He and does. You know, he can really play those roles off well. He's currently filming the movie Real with Sully and he's He's kind of at a stalemate, actually. They're not telling us much. <laughs> They're saying, we don't know when he's going to enlist. We don't have any enlistment information right of now, which is good. <laughs> that right. makes me happy because that gives a possibility of another drama. And he's looking at offers. He's gotten a lot of offers, but he's not really focusing on sorting through them and picking one yet until the movie is done. I'm hoping the movie wraps up quickly. 2016 is almost like halfway through. Come on, Kim Soo Hyun. I hate to ever compare actors, but if you take Lee Min Ho, who did a bunch of dramas after Boys Over Flowers that were very popular, and now he doesn't really do dramas anymore. If you compare Kim Soo Hyun to say Sung Joon, who's doing a lot lot of dramas right now and he's not as popular as Kim Soo Hyun but he's very very popular and especially with the Korean audience. Sung Joon's making the right moves with dramas that he's doing even though they're not smash hits like Descendants of the Sun but they're still really really good and he's still really really talented. I feel like Kim Soo Hyun in his 20s is gonna slack a little with his popularity or with his ability to pick whatever project he wants if he doesn't continue to work really hard on doing dramas and not just movies. Because movies are popular in Korea, but they're not nearly as popular internationally as the dramas are. Dramas is where you get your international recognition and especially in China too, I think. Yes, right now he's at a really good place, but it's one of those like precipices where he's got to make a really good choice with his next drama. A lot of actors find themselves in this place where like Hyun Bin, for example. He was really good. He had a strong presence before he started his military service. And then he came back and he did Jekyll Hyde and I, and it, it was kind of a flop. Or if you take Rain, who's done two dramas since his military, but both of them have sort of fizzled also, even though I'm a personally a big fan of Rain and so are you. We talked about this yesterday off camera. There were some other circumstances why his most recent drama, what's it called? Uh, Rain? Uh, I'm blacking out right now. No. I put her on the no. spot. It's been popular. He's been showing his abs in, in episode one. Oh, come back, mister. That's Can't it. even remember the name of the drama that's actually currently airing on, one, on some but online site. But then you said site. abs, and I remember. But Rain has not had the same popularity post military service, and that's a worrisome thing for all those guys. So. Well, and another one is Gong Yu. He was really big. He did copy prints. He went into military service, didn't do a lot. He did big. Big was kind of a flop, mm. and now he's waited a couple years, and he's going to make his comeback later on this year with Goblin. You know what this means? What? This means we have a possibility for Lee Min Ho and Kim Soo Hyun at the end of the year. In separate dramas. In separate dramas. I'm thinking. Fingers crossed. I don't know. It's it's a hope. What's your guys' favorite Kim Soo Hyun drama? Comments. Let us know. And what type of drama do you want to see him in? Yeah. Let us know. Click the like button, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.